Hello everyone and welcome back to Oak Street Zoo. Thank you for tuning in again to my channel. And today we are going to add a new animal and bring in some of your wonderful blueprints. First of all, thank you everyone for still contributing so many great assets and blueprints to this project. I'm really also happy how much you loved last episode where we added um, this bit of exhibit area over here. We added the tea house. We added this little seating area, like quite a lot of stuff that have we, we have been adding. And today we are getting our first, let's say, super exciting animal in, and that will be the Western Lowland gorilla i'm going to explain a little bit why i'm going for this one in particular now but um yeah i just i just think um it's it's a good kind of uh, catcher for people and it's it's a very um famous animal in that kind of sense that uh, it will drag a lot of uh, people into the zoo um which we are also looking at that you know the zoo is becoming a bit more uh, famous and a bit more you know uh, loved by the people around and we need more guests in the zoo i'm just kind of preparing now where this is going to sit because because you can see this is where the energy is um, and also you can see that there is this backstage area right over here so I was thinking of maybe putting the habitat either in here or in here but I'm gonna stay I guess with this area over here the only little bit of an issue we have are the trees here so this is what we are going to change quickly um, simply because the light is a bit of a an issue here so I'm wanna I want to make sure that the light is uh, a bit better for us um, and working working a bit better so I'm going to put these things somewhere else just to make sure that it doesn't uh, look so weird you know and we're going to kind of try to make this inner part all one building so that in in a sense um, we do have kind of a viewing area that goes inside the house here and the rest will be the outside area for the gorillas now i'm going to make like a little bit of a ditch down here uh, with a lot of concrete i'm trying to make this very straightforward so you guys can actually follow my building process in real time and um, yeah before we do so we're going to see if we can get a female lesser antillian um, this is not set here. I don't know why it isn't. Because last time we had the problem that we didn't have the Lesser Antillian uh, Iguana. Uh, female one. Now let's see if there is one. There's still none. Are you kidding me? Okay. They seem to be very rare in this game. Um, but yeah, you can actually tell there's only one in here. So we, we do have... Whoops. This is the animal. So this is Angel. And on that side we do have... Uh, uh, Tes, uh, Tezka Quattle and Xuachonal, whatever. I, I think this pronunciation was spot on, I guess. <laughs> um, by removing those trees, did I, actually, did I actually change something for them in terms of plant coverage? Well, actually, they have some African plants, right? African grassland. I think we can just put them something in here. African grassland, why not? Just quickly do this, okay? So, grassland continent africa there are some trees that are pretty reminiscent of this area still and they still look like our european kind of stuff we can just put that in here so there you go just not too much okay just a little bit here and there to make this look a bit better i'm just still a uh, bit confused why i haven't done this anyways but yeah so they don't even have some water in we can just give some uh backdrop here i think it was also partly because of the space but yeah, just putting some of the things in here should be fine. Good, okay, so we don't have the chance to do much right now. Um, I'm gonna quickly check what kind of blueprints you guys uh, gave me now for today because there were a lot of cool things. Like, let me just show you this one. I'm not gonna put this down, but Dommel created this viewing area, which is just insane. However, it's a tiny bit big for the moment, Dommel, so I might use this later for potentially like a polar bear or something. I could imagine that that is something really cool or some like water, more water animal. I mean, we don't have water animals in that kind of sense but you know what i mean so it's still very cute very cool and we have this uh, canadian flower which um it's not in canada so maybe i'm going to use this for like a canadian animal later on but we have this incredible thing over here look at that this is a wonderful rudy wren camel planter and this is going to be sitting in here like there is no doubt about this that we will use this piece just look at that just look at that wonderful incredible thing i'm just gonna hide this exactly like so there you go this is where we are and then it kind of still said like a blueprint that's awesome so i'm gonna pull this exactly into this position as best as i can let's also rotate that a little bit so here we go and one thing i want to do quickly is i'm just gonna give this whole area a bit of a yeah thank you for nothing i guess where are the what was that light there was a light coming from somewhere. But look at that. It's just looking so cool. That's my little logo. I love it. 
I love it. It's so cool. It's like really, really amazing. Okay, but anyways, we're just gonna go and put some plaster down just to make sure that uh, this area looks a bit more nice. Um, as if this is really meant to be looking that way. I'm just gonna use the plaster piece here as I can. Oops, there you go. These are all we can use and then the rest will be done. With the smaller ones, um, there you go. I'm just gonna use these ones so I can easily make this. Wait, it's not like perfectly aligned, is it? No, it's not. It's not. Okay, so let's do it that way. It goes another one here and then I'm just going to bring that in like so. And there you go. By the way, if there was a weird cut, I potentially just have sneezed quite loud and I'm not sure if I managed to hit the stop record button in this second because it just came very uh, surprisingly quick. Um, you, you know that kind of thing? Sometimes you just kind of sneeze and out of nowhere and you're like, just like, what the hell was that? Uh, this kind of appeared to me right now. Um, but yeah, so here we go. You can just fill that all in. There you go, just going to move that a little bit more like this and like so. I'm just gonna fill this in. What is going on with you guys there? What is going on with you guys? I'm also trying to make this episode like not as super long. I'm just trying to make this like somewhat around maybe at max 40 minutes, but if I get it done, I'm gonna make it a little bit less long. That would be awesome indeed because, you know, they, the last couple of episodes have been incredibly long anyway so yeah look at that so this looks a lot better a lot more city zoo age a lot more nice so what we could do i think they should be able to fit right in here and i think i want to keep that a bit more open you know i'm going to delete those here I'm just going to put them to the other side because i want to make sure that this is kind of nice you could even make like some wait don't we have them i think i saw something like that like small mm, or whatever in here I know that there was something, yeah, this is exactly the one I wanted. This is kind of cool. So maybe we can just put these chains in front of here. So like, so that people don't just go in. Um, just copying that around here, somewhat like that. And then I'm just going to leave that last piece here. Just like so, okay? So almost like that they just don't go into the planter, what they actually do. I'm still not sure why those freaking idiots are like all running so much into this all. I'm just gonna put like a bin here and another one here. I just hope that they now stop running into it. I think that should be fine. Wait, well, yeah, it kind of keeps them a little bit away, which is good. Okay, money-wise, we are doing super well. This is all pretty good. Thirst is kind of an issue. Like, we will have some more shops over here as well. I've just kind of made this already so that we do have the potential to put some shops here. And, oh my lord, what was that? Uh, but now let's let's focus on this habitat. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to get a connection between this and this area to make sure that they're going some keepers in. That's going to be here. And what we are going to do now is we're just going to take... Where's that other fence? This is the fence. Um, we're just going to take that one and bring this in somewhat like so, okay? And this, God, this, these, these noises are like insane. Okay, I'm gonna put this here. So that's kind of the, the backdrop, okay? So what we will do first is we're just going to make sure that this little ditch is going to be down here quite nicely. Not doing that big, but just like so, because we will, uh, again, we have to make this island somewhat bigger than, than what you see right now. I don't want to make this like super big, you know, I don't want to make this in, in, insanely big, but you know, there will be a bit of a problem otherwise. So I will make this this time somewhat more interesting. I'm not sure if that is even, I think it's not even steep enough. Let's just dig that a little bit deeper. I can make this even smaller, like so. Just gonna bring that all around here. So we have a proper ditch that goes good like this. Okay, awesome. Now we have to smooth this out a bit because I hate this if it's so ugly um, and so weird. But we will now make like, in case there's no blueprint for that, which I believe there is none. Um, there are some cool blueprints, but not like these kind of concrete zoo things. I wanna, I think I wanna go and take this one as an example because I like this piece quite a bit. So I'm going to use this one as the base for it. So this will be here. There you go. And we are going to do this a little bit more um, practical this time. So what we're going to do, we're just going to use um, 
this plaster piece, of course. I'm just going to pull that one down here. This will be the initial piece where we go. There you go. And then we just tilt that inwards so we have like a proper, proper concrete wall, border, however you want to call it. I think I need to make sure that this is really covering the essence of it. So there you go. There will be water in the, indeed in there, so I really hope that this is not going to look too weird. Um, we're going to make sure that this, yeah, exactly. This is just going to cover all of it. We can make that move inwards, how much, uh, yeah, I think it's fine this way. Um, what we're also going to do, we're going to put some concrete-ish stuff in here in the middle as well. Because this time I really want to make sure that this is some some kind of boundary also for the people. Because we will put now some glass in uh, right in here. So this is really meant to be looking at uh, this time exactly like in a real zoo. Um, and in a real city zoo. Like really giving, giving no, no, not that. Like give me a free form glass piece. What's that one? That's way too big. Okay, is there like a... Size-wise, this should work. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use that one because I, I think this is kind of cool because it has this frame to it, and so the connection will look a bit better. I'm just gonna move that in here, so it's same on both sides somehow. Is that like, yeah, somewhat like that? And then we just go so the people can watch through, but it still is somewhat secure. Ah, I'm not sure if that is even. I mean, we have no. We don't need this. We can also we can also make this like metal. Or is it actually fence? I think it's fence. Yeah, there you go. This is the piece I was looking for. And then we can use that one instead, just to make sure that they don't climb over here. Just making this a bit of a security thing, you know. Nothing too crazy, nothing too, too ridiculous, but, you know, just so that this is somewhat acting like a border. Here you go. Awesome. And just in case that this still doesn't work accordingly, I will now... Ah, uh, no, you know what? We, we, we will start with this thing first. Okay, so I'm gonna, gonna move this thing now into the position as best as I can, just following the pathway. So this is our, this is our guidance is the pathway. So I'm not gonna try to make it too much to the nature. I really hope that I can change the main nature accordingly later on. Um, okay, this is not like inch perfect or whatever. So this is the way. And then we're just going to make sure that we just follow Follow the sun. Okay, no, follow follow the pathway actually over here. So there you go. It's not like, is it follow? Yeah, I was I was trying to be lazy already, but <laughs> I think uh, it's still not there. Yeah, we need to we need to make it by hand. I was trying to save some time by just uh, copying the three pieces at once, you know. But I think this could work. I'm just going to try this. We have got one single one. We can still use that if we need, but I might. Use that one instead. Yeah, that, that works a lot better. So if I just pull, yeah, just not quite, I guess. Like a little bit less tilting here. There you go. Oh, it's awesome. It's it's perfectly fine. And now, see, this is what I meant. Hopefully I can get rid of that, but um, that should be fine. And now again, I think we cannot really use that one either way. Or we just try to make sure that this is going to slip past uh, no 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 we can't do this because we have to follow this uh circular form a little bit more uh, i'm not going to follow this all the way the the rest over here to the left will look a bit more natural i want to make like a natural border over there just to make sure that this is again still looking a bit more like a city zoo um but yeah so we need to follow that one now a little bit better um we oh the Scorpion head offspring. That is great because this is again giving us some money, 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 money. And I'm, I'm you know, you, you see that, but I'm, I'm leaving the zoo running as long as I can, uh, because uh, the, the longer we don't have any issues, we make money, which is, which is great, and we make guests and we make uh, education. Oh, by the way, talking of which, just need to quickly check if the, uh, if the vets are researching the way they should. Oh, actually, I only have one, right? I have got two. See, this is what I meant, but there's nothing I can really research right now, so that's okay. Mm, yeah, no, that's fine. Let's just do one more. One more goes over here. So there we go. And now let's just put that in. Okay, so that's it. That's it. That's kind of cool. And then we will do the same over here. This will be a bit more tricky now, but I think it will work. Uh, making that a bit more like so. It's going to move 
something into here to make it look better. I ha I've got an idea how to do it, but yeah, for the moment, I really have to make sure that this looks good. So here we go. That's almost like the barrier we need. Awesome. So what we are going to do now is we're just going to use that one, pull that a little bit more inwards here. Um, just first of all like this, and then, oh wait, I have to, I have to copy them all accordingly. Uh, Warthog has matured. Are they going to start fighting now? I, I do remember in the back of my head that there is some kind of fighting going on between the Warthogs, isn't it? Ah, yeah, well, that's not, that's not working right here. So I'm going to just pull that in here and I'm just going to delete this and I'm going to delete this and then I'm going to do also delete this and then I'm going to go for plaster and then I'm going to use the smaller plaster. I'm just going to pull that in here. There you go. I'll line up properly. So it's looking like a little bit cleaner, you know, one, two, and I'm just going to pull that one back into position. Here you go. Oh, it's not like perfect, but getting there. So this is where it is. I'm going to delete this one and I'm just going to pull all of those back into the position where they belong, which might be here. It's going to, and we're going to sit one exactly on the corner. There you go. Awesome. So this is kind of the, this is kind of the nice, wait, were they like a different angle? Why on earth? I mean, I don't care. We can just keep it that way. Um, and I'm just going to pull these ones all in here. Um, whatever, something like that should work. Awesome, so this is done. And what we will do now is going to be a bit more tricky, but I think it should look good. So this is like the little ditch, you know, where we will fill in the water like, like so, you know, just putting the water in. But this is not exactly how it should look in the end. Um, I do need to make sure that the terrain over here is also just gone this and then also what we can do already is putting rock down here so it almost looks kind of the way it should look so there you go awesome and can we just pull that a little bit down here yes we can so that this is looking better awesome okay so the last bit we want to do and this is like super simple um, we're going to it doesn't even matter where exactly I'll do it but I you know I'm just going to we can even use the bigger pieces here Oh, is that like, I think it's the same length and there you go. So what we are going to do, we're just going to build some steps, you know, just simple steps because sometimes you see this in, in zoos and the reason why they do have these steps, as far as I remember, I'm like, please don't quote me on that, but I think mostly the time why they have the steps is also for the, for the people to get into the water and clean this off a little more easy, you know. Uh, it's not like super um, only for the only for the looks of it and stuff. It really has a purpose, which again is exactly what I just meant, uh, so that I can eat, go in and, and just have a little swim, uh, or like a, just easier to clean that off. I guess that was the reason, but you know, I'm not like 100% sure. I remember some keepers told me that once, but um, you quite often see those, those kind of stairs, whatever. Okay, 12 minutes into the second recording period. I think we're like 20 minutes in now. I think this is a decent, decent timing. Um, because again, we will be easily doing that now. Just going to pull this one in here. Can I can I quickly just select those three, uh, make a building out of those and just copy that over. I don't even know exactly why we do this this way. I could have just easily continued in the build, but whatever. So I'm gonna make this and then just give me that one. And just going to put that in here to the corner. Uh, just not as much as this, but well, like so. And then let me just go into this one and copy them all over to the end here. And I'm just going to rotate that quite a lot in. <clears throat> there you go. Just this way and this way. <clears throat> so this is kind of ending into the more natural area. But now, as I said, we just sometimes need to adjust this a bit more nicer. Oh, well, just pulling that one in and a little bit more. Not sure how much exactly I need to, but well, we, will, we will see that. And oops, no, it's just copy. Pulling that one in. It wasn't like, like it, 
amazingly perfect, but it looks, looks a lot better already. Okay, so we can do the same here. Just wait, can I? No, that's not the right one. No, it's not. okay. I need a copy. I need a copy. I need to copy that. Okay, just pulling that one over. And that one too. And down here too. Cool. Let's pull that one over as well. You know, it doesn't have to be like absolutely perfectly fine, but just so that the looks of it is a bit better. So there we go. That looks already amazing. You know, it looks exactly the way I wanted it to look. And then we're just going to pull that one in. And then over here, I'm just going to make, like, I'm, I'm going to close that off easily. Um, just going to, oops, do it that way. And then just have another little connection like so. And then, yeah, we're just gonna, uh, okay, like over here, we can just take that bigger one because why not? So here we go. One. Pulling that one down, two, and three. There you go. This is done. Cool. Now what we do, obviously, we are just going to move that one as close as we possibly can. So it's nicely connected. Oh, look at that. Makes the whole bit bigger. So there you go. And they will obviously also get like a little hill in the middle. So it's not like as super flat as it Sometimes is you know, just making sure that they have a bit of a nice area to move around. It's not like going to be crazily big because we are still in a city zoo and you won't see them having like the super big. How much area do they actually need though? Gorilla, there you go. Um, whoops, the species data, nope, habitat, there you go. 780 square meters, I think we can hit that. I think we can hit that, maybe enlarging that to the back here a little bit. So giving them a bit privacy area, I think that should be fine. And this is going to be part of the habitat anyways. So I think that should be fine. In order to make this look a bit more clean, we need to also pull that one in because this is going to be, hey, how and why would this not go? There you go, okay. So this is kind of a double wall we're going to tap in here. So this is going to be, I think, we know what we can just actually work with that. So let's just work with the normal plaster wall here. So one, two, three, four, and five. So this is kind of the connection we needed. Uh, I don't want to make this too crazy over there, but that should be fine. And then we're just going to have that one also in here. So this is kind of the the ditch that goes there. You know what we could do? I think what looks pretty much cool would if be if we, where's that one piece? There you go. This is the piece I was looking for. So we need to make sure that this is kind of like so, and then we, yeah, pull the other one there, and then just gonna use height-wise, I wanna go, ah, you know what? No, we can actually use the brick here, because that's kind of the, the opening I want to have to the other side should be brick, so. I'm not sure if it should be that tall though. Hmm. Yeah, how about, no? <laughs> I think I'm just gonna keep that to the inside and then this might make a lot more sense height-wise because again, I wanted to make sure that this is also kind of having, yeah, that's exactly the the one thing I wanted to do. So this is kind of just the, the roof part shall be, yeah, exactly this brick stuff here so it kind of gets a nice connection also with this building and then we can look at the sun lighting here it's like is it like early morning by the way or it's just like late evening oh it's early morning that's kind of cool so we're going to make this work somehow so there you go this is like really really perfectly fine going in here and then i think we are just going to have like a i'm not even sure how much of a wall we need over here i think what we do La, I cannot really lower that anymore down, can we? Not really. That's a bit of a pity. Yeah, you know. Then we just go for one full. There you go. And then making sure that this is somewhat nice. Okay. And then we just give this another uh, wall on the other side. Where's that? This is the piece I wanted to use in the middle here. Like giving them like a double door opening and then just pull that one in here. That's kind of cool. It fills in the building exactly as I wanted it to. 
And then what we will have here is this is kind of the area where the people can have a look into. So they will be just able to go here and then, well, this is in fact just the area to have a look inside the habitat. So I'm not sure if like two even, yeah, that, two makes sense. So there you go. That looks kind of cool. Yeah, that looks almost like exactly what I wanted to have. And then in the back here, this is going to be where exactly the entrance is. Um, yeah, what we definitely need to do now is to get some concrete on the floor. Really hoping. I, I like these pieces quite a lot. They look like classic zoo-ish, you know. Um, let's see how... Yeah, that's the perfect. That's the perfect angle. So we're gonna uh, bring this here. Oh, not, not like angle, but this is the perfect height, I should say. So this is going to be filled in here. There you go. And I think we can, yeah, just like leave, oops. The warthog is about to inbreed. I guess it's not. Um, oops. You're just not going to inbreed, okay? You're just not going. 77,000 money we have. <laughs> just just money, okay? Um, great. No, that's fine. Now let's uh, change the terrain over here also to a lot of rock. No, actually we can use some soil in the front here. Why not? Not sure if they do complain too much about it. I, I know that the gorilla likes a little bit of grass, but uh, you know, just making sure that this is working properly. Now we can also put some water in here. There you go. This is working exactly the way I want it to. The, the, the one thing though I, okay, so one thing I don't like is actually that this is not like finishing until the edge here. And then also if we get rid of the water quickly, uh, we can first of all, just make sure that this is going, oops, two should be the thing. I want to fill in that corner here, awesome. And then we are just going to remove it down here. Uh, it is what it is, okay, whatever. And then no, oh well, we can't keep it that way because I will put some rocks in here that, that will be done with the rocks. Okay, cool, now let's, I'm not sure if I want the water down here to be that crazy, so I think First of all, we're just going to pull that tree a bit further to the side. And then I guess what we need to do, just going to make this area a tad bit more big. So here we go. And then we're just going to make that ditch go around here to the back. So over there, that should be fine. And now let's pull the water in. So that's exactly what we need to do. So they cannot escape over there. And then, as I said, we will make this all look a bit more natural. Not sure if they can kind of escape here. I'm just going to put quickly a rock in here because I feel almost like that this should work. If we just put a put a bigger rock like here, just like that, you know, just simply like that. I think they will not be able to pass. So just going to make it that way. Yeah, that looks fine. And now as this is done, you know what we quickly do? We just first of all put the barriers in, okay? So we just do the habitat gate here. Uh, that looks phenomenal, to be honest. That looks actually pretty, pretty cool indeed. And then we are just going to move the habitat borders easily through the water. I'm just going to try to stay a little bit more close to the area just to that I know how much how much space we have indeed because yeah it's gonna be a bit weird and then we will actually also put down the oh, this kind of stuff in here so let's just move that into the exact way no 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 give me can I just thank you so much game thank you so so much I'm gonna put them exactly into the corners and then yeah just Starting from over here, we can pull that one. Hey, why isn't that working? Oh, because of... Oh, right, I, I guess I, I know why. Um, yeah, no, can I... I can connect this here, right? Yeah, awesome. So this is then a kind of this border. And the only thing we need to do, I guess, is just... Yeah, connect... Hey, 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 hey. There you go. Connect this. And then I can also just finish that. <laughs> this is pretty simple. Just finishing that off like so. And we do have this little bit of style that I like. I don't really like this. Okay, so what we need to do, I'm just going to uh, try to select some of these. Not sure if that's enough. Let's say split from the group, up and down. So it's not like having that much Z fighting anyway. Anyway, so like, there you go. That should be enough. That should be well enough. Okay, um, so that's kind of, 
still annoying here. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to raise this a little bit. Uh, let me just... So they have some sleeping beds here. I'm just going to pull that one in. I think that should be nice. They can actually go up there and then that should be fine. And now let's go back to the barrier and raise that all the way here. I'm just gonna raise that all the way here. Awesome. So that's kind of easy, you know, easy peasy. And now let's have a look how big the habitat actually is in terms of space. It could work. My God, it could work. Yeah, I think it, it, it should actually work. Okay, so what we're going to do, we are just going to connect this, obviously. Uh, Welp, okay. So let's, let's quickly deliver both of the animals and then we will have a look um, how that works and whoops there you go animals we're staying inside the timing I'm I'm almost shocked I'm almost shocked guys okay let's pull that one in and then we have this baby unfortunately I didn't have a female one um, I'm, I'm still checking in the in the trading now but there wasn't like a yeah as you can see there's still no female I have my female one from from my uh, other zoo um, so it has to grow up first, but it's okay. I, I think we get males all the time if we need, so it's fine to have it this way. Um, but yeah, so what we need to do now is we also need to put the pathway in here. And I'm guessing that, uh, whatever, just let me... So why am I not able to... Okay, so if I do align to grid, I can remove this thing. It doesn't work that way. Okay, whatever. Um... I can pull that one in here, right? Yeah. So that should be fine. And now if I do say align to grid, it just doesn't. Oh, because of the water volume, whatever. Okay, so it should still be working like so. And we can also, uh, oh, it doesn't work. Well, we keep it small then. We keep it small then, okay? Um, are you, seriously, it's because of the water still. Mm -hmm. Just delete it, just. Well, we just do it that way then. Boom. <laughs> it doesn't matter because it's it should work in a second. Um, we can just still... Yeah, we will put some bins in there and that should be fine. And now let's just put the water back in. There we go. So you can be unboxed. Yes, can't you? Okay, cool. Let's have a look. Uh, space wise yeah that works hard shelter no because we don't have a roof on top but like space wise I'm quite happy that this works um, how about oh my lord look at that this is this is great okay let's quickly do the um, terrain because that's that's like easy easy win for us okay so still too much grass long still too less grass short okay we can we can just easily fix that okay so see see that's that's it um, we have still some some soil potential I want to make a lot more soil down here because that's like how in a city zoo it would actually look like. So there you go. This is a bit more the way I wanted it to be. And now talking of climbing, okay? So coverage is African, tropical African, okay? This is this is easy. Um, Africa and tropical. I'm just gonna go here. And then we will put this in what we can actually grow here. So we, we can have some palm trees in, I know. Um, even though I will try to not maximize the use of it because we all know that this is not like the easiest thing to grow in a normal modern European zoo. We can have that one. This looks a bit more like stuff that could grow here. We can have some of the uh, kind of smaller palm trees here and there. Just making sure that this looks good. I do have an idea how to do it though. I'm just going to make sure that this looks all decent enough. And then we have this tree, which I almost like think could work here. I just I'm not sure, like, I'm gonna put this there. There you go, plant coverage is almost perfect now. Uh, the reason why I was like a little bit, um, almost like trying to avoid this um, is mainly because, I, I, you know, I'm not like super much trying to avoid this, but I, I try to avoid putting too many in here because I want to make sure that this area is nice and visible for everyone, you know? I'm gonna give them this fallen fallen thing that could be like a thinery object. I think that's, that's kind of nice gonna put this down here okay and then just gonna get rid of that I'm going to put some rocks in quickly I think some mossy rocks over here would make sense this is kind of stuff you could do in a, in a normal zoo as well just like 
one scenery object and the rest is going to be made with our well-known uh, European stuff here, you know, just giving it a bit of a character here and there. And again, we have to think about the fact that this might reduce the space for them as well. So, you know, the, the reason I was happy was mainly because they could traverse everything. Uh, and let's just quickly hit play and see. Uh, see, it's already kind of, you know, went down already, but um, I think it's it's all fine. They have a bit of hard shelter. Uh, how much climbing did it have? Because climbing was still something I haven't done yet. So, oh my lord, the tree was already enough for climbing. Oh my god, but they still they still do get uh, a climbing rig from me. Um, I do I have any any other climbing rig saved? I still have that big ass one here, which I think is still one of the coolest one. You know what we do? We're just gonna reduce this a little bit because we do have. Um, I can actually delete most of that site because I still just want to have that hammock thing in the middle. I, f I feel like this is the coolest bit here from this whole thing. I'm just gonna delete most of these pieces here because we just don't need them. And we're just going to keep it to the bare minimum. Uh, there you go. We could actually put some ropes down here to make it look cool, even though they won't be really used, but you know, I just don't care too much about it. Um, but I, you know, I just, I just love the hammock thing too much to, to not use it. It's not like really connected over here. We can, yeah, just like change the angle a tad bit. Hello, just, I thought a tad bit, okay? Not like grammatically. Uh, oh, still not enough. Uh, there you go. A little bit down, a little bit like so. Boom, one. <sighs> Whatever. Okay, so that's, that's, that's how it is. We can just delete these lower pieces. Uh, maybe just pull one down here and if i remember correctly it's not like one building we have to merge them you know what we do we do not merge them into each other i'm just going to use it that way i'm just going to pull that here okay because i like this hammock design so much that i think i want to give this to them to the inside as well even though i remember that there was yeah i don't know but i'm going to put this into this corner here you know and then i'm going to put some ropes down and I'm going to use the, there you go, this is somewhat cool, like this, and then just bringing that one in like this here, awesome. And uh, the problem about the ropes now is that I can only use the African ropes to connect this, but uh, that's okay, that's okay, we're gonna do this. Rope, rope, rope. Europe. Okay, so this <laughs> this is the only issue here um, because honestly the other ropes just don't work. Um, but it's okay. Are they like too, no? They're not even too high. Oh, that's kind of cool. So gonna pull this one in here. The other one just goes to that side, you know, like this. And I'm going to have these to the back as well. Just rotate them full 180. This is full 180. And just going to, they can stick down a little bit. I, I just want to have the same height for them. That's fine. Uh, where is the, 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 do, do, there you go. This is how it should be. Nice. Okay, cool. Now, as we've done that, let's just get in with some uh, habitat for them. Habitat pieces, gorilla. So the gorilla gets the arboreal feeding platform. Yeah, feeding is going to happen outside, obviously. So yeah, let's let's give them the big one anyway. So here we go. I'm gonna make this terrain smooth out quickly. Otherwise I forget, I hate this. So there you go. Um, some more soil, awesome. It's kind of, kind of working this way. And let's go to Habitat as well again. And we're gonna give them like a little bit of a box to play inside. Then we have to give them the bedding, which goes in here. Just making sure that this looks cool. Can we actually also place some leaves in between? It's so like almost like, yeah, that looks cool. Some some leaves and some other stuff. And then we're just gonna put some leaves down here too. So that it almost looks like a little bit better. Cool. So I'm gonna give them this kind of feeding thing in the front here. Yeah, let's do it there. And then um, they still need some cool stuff here and I need to give them some enrichment to give them a reason to climb up there so I'm just going to give them a ball that goes can I have this somewhat straight somehow there you go 
And we're just moving that ball to this little bit of an area here. So, somewhat like that. Is it like tumbling down? I really hope it's, no, it's held up here, cool. This was meant to be done this way. Just gonna give them that piece on here. And now the only bit we need to do is give him them a small sleeping opportunity. And we're just gonna merge that in this bit because hopefully they will then go and have a sleep here. Normally they do, which I think is a cool bit. Um, and now we just give them also like a forage box in the back here. And again, as always, just going to quickly make sure it's somewhat mm, smaller, less heavy. Just gonna pull around to make this look a little bit I, I just hate these these kind of ugly ugly wooden pieces to the sides of it. So I'm just going to always hide that in, okay? So there you go. Some heavy soil around here. Oh, well, that can actually be 80%. Here you go. Awesome. Let's quickly put a roof on and then we are good to go. I think I'm just going to go with the classic um, copper roof. Oh, uh, where is it? There you go. Um, yeah. Let's keep it fairly classic, okay? Uh, we're just gonna make that stick out once here. To the other side here. There you go. Another one goes there. Just, you know, I, I think it's fine if they just go into each other like this a bit. That is, this is okay. Making people happy. No rain. They have shelter. It's all good for our gorillas, gorillas okay? So there you go, and um, yeah, no, we're just going to have the concrete bit in the middle. I think that's better. There we go, guys. Look at that. Oh, wait, we don't even have like a glass piece in here, do we? I mean, they cannot escape. It's like open, but it, this, this looks almost weird. Uh, let's quickly put one in. And uh, there you go, glass. Where's the glass? Glass. The free glass pieces, please. Probably that, nah, nah, that one is the one. This is the one, let's take the bigger one, it's easier. There you go. That's easy. Cool, let's put these rocks in here because it's kind of looking still ugly here in this corner and then we are good to go. Um, putting that one in, you know, making sure that this is all nicely done. There we go. And wait, yeah, there you go. This is this is the angle we need. Just going to rotate this. Just want to make sure that this looks somewhat nice and believable. That's kind of cool. And we still need to make sure that this area in the back is going to be made soon. But for now, I mean, if you guys want to make some more natural stuff, you can. But I think this is this is fairly the one we need. And I did get a cool education board, which we're going to use just in that corner here. This is going to be that. I'm going to be the Western Lowland Gorilla. And we're just going to copy this board and gonna put this in the back here as well. Makes a lot of sense, I guess. That's kind of cool. And now let's just copy some of the, hey, some of the benches. There you go. Just gonna pull them in this little bit here. Also some seating inside there. There you go, two bins here so they don't move there. I, I hate them, same goes here. And then is there also the donation box? We can pull one here into the corner. There goes another, there goes another, there goes another. Yeah, I mean, that's almost it, guys. We just need to employ a keeper uh, who is going to take care of our friends, uh, which is going to happen here. Uh, you are going to get this new work area, which is all that area. And this is going to go be called Gorilla, down, down we go. Awesome, guys, it's it's done, it's it's all done. Let's have a look how they how they do. 87%, what is, what is missing? Species toy enrichment is still missing. Terrain is great, environment is great, this is great. So, okay, it's only toy enrichment and adult population, which, yeah. Again, I would love to give you the adult population, but I cannot do this right now. I cannot do this. No, toys. Protesters have arrived in my zoo. I'm still no idea why, but whatever. So there's another toy for you. Is this now like 100%? 
not quite. It's just gonna give you a sprinkler too, okay? You guys love sprinklers, so we're gonna have a sprinkler in the back. Awesome. So that is a lot better. Now let's have a look why on earth would they have protesters in here? What about my animals? Who's not doing well? Oh, what's your issue? Okay, let's quickly fix that. What is the issue about the lemurs? Um, animals. No, that is the wrong tab. So here you go. They are all doing somewhat good. They are not doing good at all because now nah, gonna gonna send them to trade center. See you later. Okay, quickly doing the next bit here. Yeah, same goes about the. Uh, oh my lord. Okay, so gonna get all of these scorpions away. Dommel and Ria will stay. Yep, send to trade center. All right. God, this episode's getting longer than I wanted, but simply because of these issues right now. Maybe we are even getting to the 100%. So what is your issue, guys? Also, is this like all of you? Hey, okay, so something is going on in here. So what is what is your problem? Is it space? No, it's not. Habitat, cleanliness, and nutrition. Last meal, la oh, good lord. Okay, I think might this be, yeah. Now, that is um, actually an easy fix. Okay, so what if, what if we just... Uh, 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 there you go. Water treatment does fit in here, right? It does cover that one. All right. And now, you know what we do? <sighs> yeah. Okay. Cool. We, we just do one thing. I'm going to take another keeper. Who's that guy? And uh, you are proving master o o one. So I do know exactly what you do. You only clean habitats and you get a new work zone. And this is the entrance. And this is cleaning entrance. Boom. Nee, no, 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 let's let's call it proving because cleaning could also be the key, uh, the, the caretakers. There you go, okay, cool. So this should fix these issues. Mm, exhibit trading. Wait, was there like a, oh my lord, quickly. Eh. Yes. There you go. This was just, so quickly. Okay, sec select all, quick trade, 10,000. Boom, guys, boom, look at that. We made it. Cool, I think most of the animals should do good now again. I mean, they don't, because you know what we can do. 3.0 years. Which are the old ones? This is going to be the problem. 3.0 years old. Okay, so I'm gonna sell those. You can do whatever you want to do again and release them to the wild. Just making sure that this works. And animal welfare should be back on. Um, same goes with these dudes over here. They are going to be fine. They are also being released to the wild now so that they do a bit better size-wise. All right, you can do your thing again. They do better soon in transit. That's good, guys, we got it. We got it. Okay, so that's it. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of this wonderful Western Lowland Gorilla Habitat. I certainly did enjoy this. And um, yeah, in case you're new to the channel or you are constantly watching but still not subscribed, please make sure to consider subscribing. It helps the channel a lot. It makes me smile. It makes all of us happy because we can grow this even more. And yeah, I'm just looking forward to see you again in the next one. Until then, keep on bringing those uh, blueprints in and I talk to you in the next one. Have a good one, guys. Have a good week and goodbye.